Hi, I'm Kelsey Cuso. I'm a data visualization developer, and during my free time, I make art with machine learning models. When I was a child, I used to take painting lessons. Uh, I've always been really drawn towards the visual arts, and when it was time to decide on a major in college, I went to art school, majored in media arts and animation, and did four years of traditional training. Once I was done with that, I worked as a professional artist for six years. So I had already been learning about data analytics and data science for about two years when I got sick. Um, I have a neurological condition that causes severe enough hand tremors that I can't draw and paint anymore. During that time, I had found a way to compensate for everything else, right? I started walking with a cane. Um, I started using assistance to see with special glasses and vision therapy, everything else I could compensate for. But that, that creative outlet was still really missing for me. So I had already been working for about three years within the analytics sphere um, when I found out about the DS4A empowerment program. And because my background was so non-traditional, I didn't have a lot of the formal learning when it came to things like statistical methods. And I was really looking for a way to round that out in a way that was thorough and formal and would help round out my skill set. Being around other people that are A, from a diverse background like mine, and, and B, just so smart and so hungry for knowledge has been in itself, I think, the best part of the program for me. I'm so inspired by all of the other fellows and by everybody's individual journey. It's really made me want to keep going with my own. So I've really described them as AI-assisted art instead of AI art, because in many ways, it's like doing a collaborative piece with another artist. The model functions by being given a set of input images that represent the style that I'm trying to create, and then I'll have a subject image and I'll have it recreate the subject image with the style of the trained inputs. The set of images that I did for the class were really fun because I wanted to capture the feeling of each week of the class. I felt like it was such a intellectual but also emotional experience for so many of the students. And so I really sought to, to capture that almost as telling the story of what each class felt like. I was very excited about the opportunity to create a commission for the end of the class. Being able to do one final piece to kind of capture the feeling of, of what it would be like when we finished was really exciting. So I had a few different concepts that I wanted to work from. The one that I finally landed on, I felt like was universal in the way that it inspired the feeling of, of what it was like to be finished, but be finished together and have accomplished this great thing as this hugely diverse group of people. I wanted to really go with something that was a little bit abstract, but also very bright, vibrant, captured the energy of everything and the happiness that was completing this huge endeavor that we all set out on. The idea that I could be successful in a program that was this challenging and that I could have people that are representatives from these top universities really believe in me made me change my perspective on what I'm capable of when it comes to education. I would do it again if I could in a heartbeat and I plan to try to continue to be involved with the program in whatever way I can. It's literally life-changing, it's the best thing I could have spent my time on and I'm so glad that I did it. Yeah.